ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato. Welcome back to Captain of Industry, where we have just officially gone nuclear. That's right, we've got the nuclear reactor up and running. Or at least I say, it's been built. It's not actually been properly used. We did turn it on very, very briefly uh, for a short period of time. It, it kind of worked. Uh, we are making uranium rods, even though we are on low power. So I kind of want to get this this uh, this reactor up and running, even if it is just at one one times power level, which is all we're going to be able to 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 use at the moment. Uh, but I want to get it built as soon as possible. So we're going to start uh, prioritizing the construction of this low pressure turbine. We should also probably finish up the spent fuel storage, uh, and I will I will make uh, I'll, I'll take some steps to to make that happen in in just a bit. Uh, but for now, there's a couple of other bits and bobs that we need to that we need to build in order to make this area fully fully operational. Uh, so first things first, I mean, is this just all steam that we get out of here? I think it, the steam we literally get out of all of these inputs. I'm just going to assume that that's the case. That probably probably makes sense. Yoink that in there. Yep. And let's yoink that in there too. I think one pipe should suffice, but it might not. I also need to get an output sorted for the uh, for the depleted steam. I think we're going to do a big cooling tower, right? Like that seems, that seems pretty cool. I also want to get the uh, anaerobic digestion stuff sorted uh, at some point today, which should be, which should be possible. Where is the where's the tower gonna go? We'll stick it like over here. Large cooling tower. Yeah, we'll stick that in there. Low priority, no doubt. Does not deserve to be a high priority. High priority build, but that's okay. We'll also get the pipes going high. And the pipes going low. There we go. Okay, so once we get all of this built, we should be we should be ready to turn on the the nuclear the nuclear setup for good. Uh, we're building uranium rods. It does take an absolute age, but we actually have plenty of uranium rods. We use one every sixty seconds, and we make we make three every sixty seconds. So I think one, even at three times speed, which I'm not going to turn on at the moment because I'm not going to be jubated into that occurrence again. Uh, even at three times, we should manage to supply. We should manage to supply all of the ingredients that we need, as long as we're able to keep this area stacked with uranium pellets and this area stacked with steel. Speaking of, speaking of, as we as we go back to Lagland over here, uh, how are we doing with regards to uranium pellet production? We're just we're, we're, we're working on it. It's fine. Okay, that's great. Happy days on that front, I suppose. Right. When it comes to anaerobic digestion, di digestion. How many do we need? We produce 20 sludge. We produce 20 sludge every 60 seconds. Double that, we produce 40. So we need four. We need four anaerobic digesters. And then we also need to find somewhere to use the fuel gas because uh, at the moment, I, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing to do with, uh, with the fuel gas at the moment. It's actually a bit of a problem. Right, let's get four in there. Let's delete all of this setup here. There we go. Delete that too. And we'll just sort of, you know, move the the, the sludge route, I suppose. Because we are we're really having difficulties with sludge at the moment. Water is not a problem, but the sludge is is the big is the big problem. Uh, we're fine for loose storage. Is that sand? Yeah, let's remove products on here. Let's be very, very careful about removing products because we've had issues with that before. And then we need to find somewhere to, to use fuel gas. I mean, we have a... We do have a heavy oil plant up here. Is fuel gas slightly better? I think, to be honest, fuel gas is a pretty good... It's a pretty safe bet, to be to be fair. Yeah, we might convert this to, to fuel gas. The only problem is, is that we're going to have to then do something with... The heavy oil that we have here, heavy gas, heavy oil, whatever you you understand what I'm what I'm driving at, folks. Uh, yeah, I can quick build this, although we are a little low on the unity front. We'll address that later. Household electronics, we should be okay for it. Yep, we're fine for household electronics. Household goods, clearly there is a little there's a little delay in production, and probably to be honest, power is part of the problem. Uh, we are still dealing with the water pollution issue, which is entirely down to the fact. That, yep, none of our wastewater treatment plants are actually doing a gosh darn thing because the sludge is is all 
backpiled, but that's fine. Okay, let's quick remove you. Quick remove you, and then we will start the unenviable task of just getting a big... Big one of these. There we go. Big pipe. Or big U-shaped conveyor, I guess, whatever. Right, good stuff. These are all going to be on sludge to fuel gas, sludge to fuel gas. This might need to be upgraded to like a level 2 U-shaped conveyor, but ah, we can probably deal with that later. Right, let's get... One, two, three storage tanks, and then... Oh yeah, I forgot we need to do something with this... What is it? Di digestate? Yeah, digestate? I don't even know how to say it, dude. Okay. That might be a little little tight, a little, little dangerous, but that's okay. Fine. That in there. U-shaped conveyor. It does work. Is that a ramp? It is a ramp. Cool. Okay, that actually looks pretty reasonable. Groundwater sources uh, is getting low. Truck cannot reach destination. What's the issue with the destination here? Let's have a little look-see. Ah, I see. Over here. Well, there's no issues with that. That's it's fine. Uh, can we dump sludge? I don't think that we can dump sludge, can we? No, we cannot dump sludge. We can only do something with sludge. Wow, I've really kicked myself in the... Kicked myself in the teeth here. Kicked myself in the face? I don't know. I've, I've kicked myself. This is... It's not a great... Not a great setup, if I'm honest. We're also having some pretty expansive, extensive delays. Truck can't reach destination. Why on earth are you not able to reach destination here? But somebody definitely used... Okay, maybe we'll just turn the sand on, like, ever so briefly. And then I'll try deleting the... I'll try deleting the, uh, the thingy, and then we're rebuilding it. Yeah, the conveyor. And then rebuild the conveyor, and that maybe will make the difference. Hopefully. Oh, actually, we can't turn the sand on, can we? Because the sand... That outputs dirt. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta not do the dirt. Uh, that's gonna cause some problems, but that's okay. Anyway, look, just build this, build this, get it done. Build the, build the filter media. Do we have filter media over here? We do indeed. We just have so much flipping sludge. I tell you what, why don't we quick build, yeah, quick build the, quick build the U-shaped conveyor. That will at least, that'll at least make the problem disappear into the future for a little while, because of course... We should be able to store a whole bunch of the sludge on the conveyor, which is quite nice. And then we'll just hope that we're going to be able to build all of this stuff pretty pretty rapidly. Right, you can't reach destination. Uh, you shouldn't really go there. Yeah, don't go there. Don't go there either. Just export from here. Yeah, that's fine. That's actually... It's actually better. Yeah, that's that's how it should have probably been set up for a while now. Not like it's really going to make any difference at all, but that's fine. Right. Uh, is there anything that we can do about the number of vehicles that we have on the road? Or at least, I guess, hovering around? I don't think so. The good news is, though, is that we are now full speed ahead with sludge processing. I hope that we'll have enough... I hope that we'll have enough speed here, but ah, we, can, we can address that later. Uh, fuel gas still needs to go somewhere. Digistate needs to go somewhere. Right, let's actually properly have a look at, uh, at what we do with Digistate because it's in the recipes. Consumption. Right, Digistate plus water gives fertilizer. Uh, right, or Digistate plus sand, 30. I mean, how much do we produce here every 60 seconds? We produce four every 60 seconds, and we need, what, 30? 30? Yeah, I mean, it's not the end of the world, to be to be honest. Uh, I think we maybe can just squeeze in a mixer here. 
I think we maybe just squeeze in a mixer. I think, yeah, I think we can squeeze in a mixer, like, right over here somewhere. Uh, the problem, the problem with doing a mixer over here is that we need to get the fertilizer to somewhere useful. And at the moment, the fertilizer is being stored over here. Yeah. Not in love with this, to be honest. Okay, let's let's put the mixer. Let's put the mixer here. Let's put the mixer here. This feels like a really random place for it, but it's as good a place as any, really, isn't it? Right. So, water outputs. This is water, right? No, that's nitrogen. That's water. Fine. Let's grab a grab a pipe. Yep. And then what's the recipe? Did you state? Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of thinking that in the future, this is something that we would want to be transported automatically because it's in a really, really, really inconvenient place at the moment. But for now, we'll just sort of leave it there. And then I guess with the fertilizer output, we'll just feed that back into here. Yeah, I'll do that sort of pipe setup just so it sort of works a little bit more. A little bit more seamlessly. Okay, that's cool. Now, can I sort out this power situation? Have we finally finished building... No, we're 50 parts away from building that. We're 30 parts away from building that. That's cool. Uh, we will need this... We will need this cooling tower to be built as well. The whole setup needs to be built. I'm just absolutely paranoid that we're gonna, you know, get things going crazily out of control. Also, we need to turn on this setup here. Maybe we... Maybe we use fuel gas over here. I don't really want to use fuel gas, though. I'm just terrified. I'm terrified that... I'm terrified that something's gonna go wrong in the fuel gas manufacturing process, and then suddenly we're gonna be, you know, out of luck, and... By golly, there's a disaster coming down the... Coming down the line. Let's quick build all of these... These little bits. The reason being, of course, is that I just want to store more dirt, or more sludge on the on the belt. This is definitely going to need an upgrade, isn't it? I, I can just feel all of this this sludge belt needing an upgrade. It's just too slow at the moment. But that's fine. That is fine. Okay, I mean, if I was to build one of these, or even a couple of these, I can build them all. Screw it. Just quick, just quick deliver. Helping out the trucks. Look at that. A 980 second uh, delay in delivering. Anytime we do any constructing, it seems to throw our delivery uh, delivery system into a state of disarray. So I'll boost with the Unity. We're going to get the Unity back. Don't you worry about it. We're going to get the Unity back at some point. An upgrade is is definitely possible, but, uh, but not preferable at this moment in time. Right, fuel gas... We still... Uh, we're still managing. We're still managing with heavy oil here. Yeah, there is... There's definitely heavy oil around. The other option is, of course, that I could just reformulate it back into diesel, but we don't really need diesel. Look at that. 4,000 flipping units of this stuff. That is crazy. That is crazy. Maybe I could take off these electric boilers. That's not a bad idea, actually. I could take the electric boilers off and instead give them give them a gas boiler. Yeah. I don't I don't love the idea. Right, we've got no edicts on. Wastewater is dealt with. That's great. Regular water should be should be fine. We just need more household goods. That's really that's really the problem here. I don't really want to end up boosting anything. Total settlement need... We basically need two more household goods modules, right? Apparently, we also need more of these things, too. Might need another truck. Hmm. I'll have to worry about that in a second. How are we doing with our big old highway construction? Also, ooh, the mixer's, the mixer's finished. And it looks like this is all coming along nicely, too. How are we getting on with our highway? Let's have a little look. We're, we're making progress. We're making progress. Slow progress for sure, but progress nonetheless. 
waiting for trucks. That's fine. It would be nice if I could uh, perhaps reallocate some of the trucks that are just sitting around doing nothing. We've got 18 trucks that are idle. They've all got to be clustered around... There's a couple here. Oh, it, it classes idle trucks as ones that are being filled up by excavators at the moment. Well, that's a little bit of a shame. Uh, lack of water over here. Uh, we can afford to waste a harvest or two. Really sucks to say, but uh, I'm not particularly perturbed. I'm not particularly worried at all, actually. Don't think it's going to be a big deal. I think we can survive it. Right, we've also got this area that we're currently working on, which I think is going to be really, really big for us. Yeah, corn crop lo uh, lost due to lack of water. That's fine. It's just because the deliveries aren't happening as regularly as I would like because of the whole, you know, the fact that we're building a whole bunch of stuff. Right, so we're getting fuel gas. Wow, we're filling up with fuel gas real, real, real quick. Um, digistate, let's try and keep this empty. Let's try and keep this digistate full. There we go. So that's getting us water. That's getting us digistate. Let's turn off truck auto import. Let's turn off truck export as well. I hope we're gonna have enough fertilizer because it looks, yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of a fertilizer shortage over here, which means that fertility is gonna crash. So it's actually kind of good timing that we have decided to get this, decided to get this mixer on. 30 fertilizer, how much does that compare to... It's exactly the same, actually. Yeah, every 60 seconds, it's exactly the same output as, as a chemical plant. So uh, that works out very, very nicely indeed. Also, the queue time has uh, just disappeared, which is great. Very, very happy with that. Let's also nab... I think we're going to nab another U-shaped conveyor here. There we go. Just so that we're able to... Just so that we're able to get more more stuff in more quickly there we go okay that's that's actually been quite a successful quite a successful endeavor we use 30 every 60 seconds which means that we are still going to have an excess of and in fact no we will not have an excess of, of digistate we should be we should be just fine i just need to find a use for the for the flipping fuel gas now that's the real that's the real crux of my problem. That's the real crux of the problem. Also, how are we out of maintenance? How? How, 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 how are we out of maintenance? It's slowly winding its way down here, but there's, there's an issue. Slag? Oh, I've assigned to that flipping tower. Just look, just go to another tower. Jeez Louise. That tower is working as it should be. We've got plenty of dumping. Although... I should probably just make this area slightly larger and uh, allow more dumping just so that we never have any problems like this in the future. Okay, right. So that's that's steel that's steel dealt with. We should have we should have plenty of steel now because we do rely on a lot of steel actually. Steel production now coming coming down to the main sort of base. We got a lot of belts that uh, that carry the steel around. So if we could maybe if we could maybe sort that out El Pronto, that would be very very good. Very, very good indeed. We've got two assigned trucks on here. And we will accept more assigned trucks in the future. Uh, or we can. We can optionally do some more of that. What's the issue with you? Steel. Yeah, okay. I mean, we could return to wood manufacturing for a few bits and bobs, but I don't really feel like that's a great idea. Uh, truck cannot reach destination. Where are you trying to go to? Ah. Right. Well, you've kind of... Hmm. Just come back down. There we go. Just go, you know, dig this way. Dig that way. That's fine. There we go. No issues there whatsoever. Cool. Okay. Q is still looking good. The maintenance problem is still uh, chronic. But there are the occasional bits of steel that are coming across right now, which is great. And I don't think that we're going to have an issue with, uh, with maintenance. Yeah, I think we'll be fine, to be honest. I think we'll be fine. I will, I will hopefully not be, 
not be mistaken in that belief, but I think we'll be okay. Right, okay, spent fuel is, is built. It's, oh, it's actually underground. You can see that it's got a little, a little canister underground under this little area here. That's pretty cool, that's pretty gnarly. Are we ready to turn this thing on yet? Not quite yet. Not quite yet at all. Also, we've got eight out of 6,000, so there, there is an outside possibility that we may have to, you know, build another one of these at some point in the future. Right, here's what we're gonna do. Let's build over here so as not to interfere with anything. I am not sure that one singular pipe is gonna be enough to take all this water in the time frame that we need. So we may have to duplicate additional pipes here. But that's okay, that's why there's three inputs. Nice. Very, 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 very nice. All right, we got three workers available. We are gonna we are gonna start to do something uh, about that. We're gonna get some more workers soon. What's the issue here? There's no issue. It's just taking a while. Taking a while. Cool. And steel production. Yep, steel production. Whoa! No, 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 no. Steel production is not going great. Why the heck have we got? We got loads of carbon dioxide. Oh, because we're filtering to the to the same source here. Uh, that's. That's that's my bad. Okay, that's that's really not great. Uh, there is something that we can do with CO2, but uh... right, turn off CO2 filtering here. And quick build, quick build. There we go. Nice. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna get things going again, which is very very important. Vehicle is broken down as it lacks maintenance. That's okay. We'll have steel soon enough. All right, molten iron. Lots of exhaust. Is this all... It's all... It's all working. It should be all working fine. There's just a lot of... There's just a lot of exhaust to go through. Yeah. No, I get that. It's fine. That is just fine. There we go. Okay, so once we get through all the exhaust, we should be we should be back to normal. I'll leave this on boost for just a second longer, and we'll turn it off. Perfect. Right. So I think, as long as we've got steel here, yeah, we should be fine for maintenance. Although the I have left the maintenance a little longer than perhaps I would I would like to. Yeah, didn't really want to see it left this long. Ugh, now iron is once again an issue. Ugh, because it's only set up to... Not set up to deliver here. Goodness gracious me. I should, I should have a focal point. If I had a focal point for, you know, everything that came out of this mine... For example, if I delivered this mine into two... Two or three, you know, uh, storage bins. Uh, that would probably that would probably help with things a little bit. There we go. Just continue dumping. Although to be honest, I'm just not that bothered. It's it's not a big deal. So what we should probably have in the future is we put, should probably have, uh, you know, like three, three storage bins, three or four storage bins. One for iron ore, one for dirt, one for rock, one for slag. Uh, and then we just sort of deliver all of the products to those storage bins, and then from those storage bins we can assign them to specific dumping areas or specific machines. Uh, maybe we'll do that for the next iron uh, area. Although, the deeper I go into this, the deeper I go into this, uh, into this mine here, the more I think, yeah, we should probably just finish up with this area and move on. You know, get a new, get a new iron place. Uh, these anaerobic digesters are are okay. Uh, let's turn on let's turn on the boosts over over in this vicinity because we're out of power. That's definitely to do with the breakdown. Yeah, we're gonna spend a little bit of our precious unity getting the power back up and running. 
because believe it or not, that is kind of essential. Like, kind of essential. I mean, it is essential. It is the very definition of essential. Right, are we even mining iron anymore? I feel like we're just not. I feel like we're just not. Can we maybe extend... Yeah, extend this to... Here. And here, actually. Uh, iron, where are we building iron? This Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, so we are still having a few maintenance issues, but that's okay. I mean, you know, it's late game. Everyone is everyone is breaking down. It happens. It happens. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna finish up with this iron mine right now. Oh, we do still have iron ore, though. We just got three excavators devoted to this whole, this whole shebang. Is that groundwater pump important? Not really. We've actually got plenty of water in the uh, in the water facility at the moment. Uh, we're okay for food, I think. Fertilizer is. Not in a great place, not in a great place, but you know, we're probably, we're doing what we can over here. We got no, no digestate yet. That's fine. Nitrogen plus water. Wow, we need water over here. That's kind of to be expected. That is kind of to be expected. We do have this on keep full, but it is a priority nine input. How are we doing here? Yeah, we got plenty of water. We got plenty of water over, over yonder. Maybe we bump this up in terms in terms of output priority. Maybe uh, in terms of import priority. Yeah, let's do keep full, keep it full as as much as we possibly can. The reason being is that this is a very very easy win for us in terms of uh, in terms of fertilizer. And in fact, if we don't have the fertilizer, if we don't have the fertilizer up and running, then, then we're we're in trouble. Also, we need it for for cooling the the casters here. We need we need water, so we we do need a lot of water. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of water. Uh, I'm gonna remove these boosts since we don't need them. Where the heck is our steel production? It is happening. It is happening. It's just happening very, very, very slowly. Much more slowly than I would like. Yeah. And also, again, the power, which is repeatedly causing me... ...concern. Right. Repair... Repair all this. Don't care about the flywheel. We need full we need full power, like a hundred percent of the time. That's what's so important about getting this nuclear area up and running. We need 20 construction components to, to get the nuclear facility up and running. You know what? I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. Quick deliver that. There we go. Let's let's make this happen. And let's turn let's turn nuclear power on. Now, is this going to fix all of our problems? No, sorry. No, it is not. It it uh, it will not. Also, you know what I just realized? We still need to turn on all of this stuff. So, uh, down goes the nuclear power reactor yet again. And we need to see if we can try and recruit people. Now, I'm in a little bit of a, a, a dodgy unity situation here. Uh, which is perplexing. Hold on. This needs to be truck import back on. Import priority one. Let's go. Let's go. Thank goodness we're okay for level two maintenance. Goodness gracious me, I would I would be very very worried if that was if that was uh, any other way. Okay, steel is coming through here. That's priority two input. So priority two import. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we need to get more water over here. We need to figure out how to get more water over here. Perhaps it's worth getting a few. Uh, I tell you what, it it, it is worth doing. We'll flatten this area out at, like, level 26. Flatten this area out at, like, level 26. And, uh, you know, just a nice big, nice big plateau here. And we'll just get a whole bunch of rainwater collectors in this vicinity. And that'll probably do, that'll probably do something. It'll go some of the way. Uh, there is another, actually, I'll tell you what, there is another groundwater source over here. There is another groundwater source which is looking very, very, very ripe for feeding into this network here. Which I'm not actually against. I might I might save I might save that for a little while. Uh what happened? Why why did I get so many workers? Machine is broken as it lacks maintenance. That's probably why. Machine is broken as it lacks maintenance. Yeah, that's happening a lot of the time. That is happening a lot of the time. Hold on, I gotta I gotta take emergency action here. 
I gotta pause that belt. I gotta pause this belt. Let's go into three times speed. I don't think that we're really in danger. Um, it's just not pretty. We gotta pause this belt. We got to send all of our steel. We gotta send all of our steel to this to this storage facility. It's okay. We're we're gonna get out of this. Uranium mine is full storage. Don't care about vehicle maintenance. Don't care about groundwater pump. Don't care about the quartz mine. I do care about the fact that there's not enough maintenance, but we're doing what we can on that front to try and resolve that, and uh, we'll get there. Uh, this should probably be upgraded as well. I'm not going to queue it for an upgrade quite yet, because we're not going to have the construction components for, for quite a while. But, uh, but we'll be back up and running very, very shortly indeed. It's just not going to be a super fun time whilst we're waiting for everything to be repaired. Uh, Worker-wise, I mean, we're in a good place worker-wise. I think I might unload the crew, to be honest, from the ship. Now, I'll probably want the crew to get back on the ship at some point, because I don't imagine that I'm done repairing all of the potential structures. But I'm thinking, you know, for now, yeah, we can probably afford to, probably afford to have them off the ship. I'm going to boost using every little last bit of unity that I have. Uh, we've got plenty of steel, so we might as well, we might as well do it. And we'll keep an eye on these numbers. Uh, 11 and 8, that should decrease over time. Uh, just naturally, of course, from things getting uh, repaired and the breakdown chance being being lessened. Uh, but also as the maintenance, you know, increases over time and we get back on top of the top of the situation. There we go. I don't think it's going to be too long. I don't think it's going to be too long at all. Right. Uh, this entire time, by the way, I have had people in the nuclear reactor, and that takes 80 workers. So, I mean, that's a pretty... That's a pretty big... That's a pretty big number. That's a pretty big number. I'm going to unpause all of this. Uh, missing input. Water. Ah! Yeah, I haven't... I haven't zoned the water yet for this area, have I? That's not a great policy potato that's really not great how much water did i say that we got from this entire setup we got high pressure steam 60 water 60 water times 6 360 these require 48 48 times 350 360 minus so we 210 spare i don't think this is going to produce enough water <laughs> i don't think this is going to produce enough water at all let's it's going to be close it's going to be very very close Let's just yoink a let's just yoink a little a little bit off here. I can't quick deliver that. In fact, I need to quick deliver that because otherwise uh, we're not gonna be able to build it. Yeah, maintenance depot doesn't have enough unity. Oil rig doesn't have enough unity. Uh, we can remove the boosts from this. It's not a problem. Right? Are we full on fuel gas? Yeah, we are absolutely full on fuel gas. I'm going to start burning this fuel gas, which is absolutely not what I want to do. But frankly, I think I have to do it right now. Let's let's just get it. Let's just get it burning so that we can guarantee ourselves a little bit of extra unity. Because if I check, I actually waste water is not in a terrible position. So that's that's not too bad. Truck can't reach destination. Where are you going to go? Yeah, I know you're trying to reach the destination up here and you're not going to manage. I, I get it. Quick deliver that. 1.2 unity. Um, sure. Right, there's only a couple of vehicles that are broken now. Thankfully, the situation has been mostly averted, I believe. I'm just going to get rid of it. Get rid of everything here. There's a truck that can't reach its destination somewhere. I'm not going to worry about that too much. The machine is broken as it lacks maintenance. That, yeah, that looks like a power issue because we immediately... We immediately run into power problems. Uh, we don't have the unity to repair it, though, even though I tried to click the button. No joy. Uh, where are we? We're at 73, 74%. We're mostly like 75% of the way towards fixing our problems. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Right. Lack of water. Yeah, I am surprised at the fact that we don't have much water. That is that is a very, very surprising. Right, no designations available in the mining area. Oh my giddy ant. Have we actually... We've done it. We've actually done this. We've done this super highway. That's that's brilliant. Right, well, I guess we'll do mining designation here. Nothing to say that we can't, you know, have two operations taking place in a similar sort of area. Yeah, very okay with that. 
1.2 unity is what we need. We are close. A couple of vehicles that are still breaking down. Uh, how's fertility looking, actually? 37%? That's an oof. That's a big oof. We need water, and we need water fast. Can I get a big old water transport pipe here? Is that really what I'm going to do? Am I seriously contemplating this? There is no chance that I'm going to have enough construction components for all of this. This is also going to cause issues. I can I can detect it. Uh, let's not do that. Let's not do that for now. That is that is on the cards though. That is seriously 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 on the cards. Uh, let's re-enable all of the routes that I paused. Uh, we'll reopen that one as well. And I think that's no, that's not it. There we go. Yeah, so more conveyors with steel. We've got this. We've got this working as it should. Boiler coal needs a transport to exhaust. Yeah, I know it needs a transport to exhaust, but it also needs an input of water in the first instance. So, you know, lots, lots of requirements here. Man, I just need, I just need power. Maintenance, we're pretty, we're pretty sorted for. Pretty sorted for. Unity. Unity should be improving, but again, I mean, how much power are we using in the in the base? 1.4 megawatts. See, that's probably pretty inconsistent. If I had to, if I had to imagine, doesn't look like we're getting many household electronics. Why is that? PCB silicon. It's copper. Copper. That's the issue here. And the output of slag that is causing concern. Uh. Oh yeah. I didn't really factor this into the equation, did I? No, because I know we've got, I know we've got a slag output here. You have no issues with slag. Why do you not have any issues with slag? You should have issues with slag. How do we get a truck up there? Right, let's... I got it. Oh god, I I hate dealing with molten. I hate dealing with molten pipes. Right, ditch all that. I need I just need more unity. I just need more unity. I know, I know, I know. Right, leave that on, leave truck import on. We'll we'll allow we'll allow some copper to be moved from here. Or from here even. Whatever. Yeah, so that should be that should be fine. Right, oil rig is not enough unity, and we just don't have enough unity in general. Man, that sucks. That sucks. That really, really sucks. We do need to get more of these these household goods as well, which we'll deal with. We'll deal with in time. We'll deal with in time. For now, let's get the let's get the copper moved out of there, and we'll at least start making some progress. We're burning off all of the fuel gas, which man, that really sucks to do, but it's it's worth it if it gives us the extra unity, right? It's worth it if it gives us the extra unity, which it does. 90% and 45%. Okay, so we're getting we're getting back up there. We're getting back up there. It looks like the decision to make that change and also just to ensure that this area is always filled with water, that's probably made quite a significant difference probably just on its own, uh, I would imagine. Let's truck cannot deliver no valid destinations. So that's probably going to have An issue at some point. Limestone. Now I need to assign everything, you see. Now I need to assign everything. Maybe I try maybe I try the uh, maybe I try the setup that I was that I was thinking about here. Let's try and build these. Try and build these, and then we're gonna assign the rock dumping and the limestone dumping to this area. Yeah, I'll I'll get some roots. I'll get some roots set up. We'll we'll make we'll make this work. Not a problem. Okay. Right, 1.2 unity is what we require. We are we are close. Maybe I should pause the oil rigs. Do I really need That's it. That's enough. We got enough. 
Do I really need the oil rigs? I don't think I do. Nice. Okay, and then we can either wait for a little bit more unity to build these pipes, or we can, we can do something else. Uh, okay, so exhaust is this one, right? Yeah, this is it. Oh, I need to redo this. I need to redo this area. Okay. Right, good stuff. Uh, let's get a U-shaped conveyor, which is going to go to here. Nice. Exhaust outputs to there. Steam outputs. Oh, yeah, we just vent the steam, don't we? That was it. Okay, that's good. And then the other U-shaped conveyor can come over here, connect up there. Now, this one is... Ooh. This one is the impossibility, right? I feel like I don't actually care, though, because it seems... Oh, yeah, I tell you what, the truck can just literally drive across the bridge. That's, that's exactly it. I don't know why I was even worried about that. Uh, yeah, that's that's totally fine. That is totally, totally, totally fine. Uh, so getting copper production back up and running is kind of a priority of mine right now. Because it means that we don't need to import copper here, which is quite good. It's also priority to get this area up and running. Have we got water here? We do. What's the issue? Missing input? Oh yeah, we're missing the uh, the input of steam. As it turns out, very important. Very, very, very important. It's not like we can even import just a little bit of water. But I will put a pause on that. I will put a pause on that ever so slightly. We did get a little bit of water to come through here. I don't know how, though. So we got six. We got six water in this in this setup. What about Rainwater Harvester? Oh, that fits in perfectly. That's wonderful. Okay, and... Yoink that up there. Perfect. Quick build that, that's cool. Excavator has no reachable terrain designations. Yeah, see, I think it's time. I think it's time that we retire this. I think it's time that we retire this setup. Yeah, I think it is time. And we will redouble. Uh, I don't think we actually need to add all of the trucks to the iron mining operation, but you know, that's that's at least a it's at least a step in the right direction. It might be worth us assigning an extra truck to or an extra excavator, I was thinking. Uh, I'll do an extra truck, sure. An extra an extra truck to this area so that we can, you know, get the, the super highway finished quite quickly. That's kind of the kind of the vibe that I'm that I'm going for right now. Truck can't reach destination. Where can't you reach? Ah, uh, yes. Well, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Truck uh, import off. I mean, we can't export anything that this boiler outputs anyway, so that's fine. Oh yeah, we can't build the pipes either. That's probably the other thing that's causing causing an issue. Right. We also need to deal with the exhaust. Oh yes, we've got water in this one. That's actually, that actually might be okay. We might not even need the rainwater harvester. That's fine. Okay, let's get a let's get a smokestack. Did I want to? I did want to probably. I did want to probably just use a pipe, connect it up here. Is it going to be inconvenient if? Uh, actually, no. This should be this should be fine. Also, have I only sorted out one output for... I haven't even connected up the flipping belts for this, uh, for this thing. Wow, that's pretty embarrassing. Right, that's going to be too much to... Yeah, too much to deliver with Unity. Uh, but I should definitely set up these belts here. Like, because we have... We have productivity that is yet to be eked out of this, this setup. I don't know how I managed to doof that up. Are we okay for electronics? We're not okay for electronics, actually. We're okay for household goods, so I guess that's kind of... It's a 
part win, I suppose. All right, get that all built. Costs uh, a little bit of unity to do, but uh, but worthwhile. I really want to get the nuclear power set up. I really do. I don't want to repeat of the whole nuclear nonsense that we had last time. I want to. I want to be on on good nuclear terms, you know. Also, if I build this, then that's going to allow the exhaust to output, which is going to mean that we get water. Hallelujah. This is paused. That's fine. So the water should come through. That's great. Beautiful. Our steam, so we get water, blah, blah, blah. You understand what I'm saying. All we need is one tiny little bit of water. We've got... We've got enough. He says with a degree of confidence. There we go. Here it comes. Beautiful. Uh, now, there is definitely a world in which I set up a prioritization sort of plan. Uh, but I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. I, I mean, this area needs to change anyway, because we're going to need, as it turns out, more water. So let's just work on filling up this fluid storage first. And then maybe I can get a pipe balancer at some point later. Anyway, uh, we should be good for copper now. We should be really, really good for copper now. We should have no issues with the exception, the one exception of power. Okay, water is coming through here. That's great. That's really, really good. We need 96 water, though. Yeah, I'm going to pause this again, you know? I am going to pause this again. I am so unbelievably nervous that we're not going to have enough water for our nuclear power setup. Maybe I just connect this area up. Maybe I just connect that area up. Yeah. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do that. I think we're gonna set up a pipe balancing system here. Nice. We're gonna get a second water input over here. Right, and then we're gonna re we're gonna redo this area. I think it's only I think it's only right that we do it, you know, now before the before big stuff starts happening. By big stuff I mean, you know, fission. Inputs, outputs. In fact, actually, we don't need to cancel this, do we? No, uh, we kind of do need to cancel this. I need to cancel the cancel. I need to... Oh, flip. I need to demolish this. Sorry. Yeah, put up some new... Some new... New covers or whatever. That can be quick removed. That can be quick delivered. That can be quick delivered. Nice. Okay, we're in a good place for, for Unity as well, which is wonderful. Okay. So, we need to prioritize outgoing products from ports marked X. Yep. And then the other one, we're just going to bring up this cliffside if we can. Easier said than done. That's actually a better route, I think. Yeah, I think I prefer that. Right. Then let's get some buildings. We've got to build one, two, over there. Just so that we have multiple options. And then we're going to bring... We're gonna bring it back up. Now this gonna this route can of course be altered if it needs to be. Not a big deal. That yoink's in there. Okay, good. We're gonna try and have redundancies upon redundancies upon redundancies here. So we're gonna build that. Uh, we're probably gonna need to quick build this. Also, note that everything is fine at the moment, with the exception of maintenance, which is still a little low. Are we getting all the resources that we need? Yeah, we're getting all the resources that we need. It's just uh, it's just taking a little taking a little while to get back up to back up to where we were. How much are we on? 
We're on 89%. That is taking a while. I could boost it, but I'm not going to. That's it's, it's okay. All right, truck can't reach destination. We're trying to get in here. Oh, yeah, let's turn off truck import because we shouldn't need it anymore. That should fix some of the problems. Uh, there's a couple of destination issues, probably due to the fact that this big old pipe is now in the way. And nothing over this side can get built. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get some... Um, Let's get, let's get a pipe balancer. So we want to prioritize, if at all possible, we want to prioritize from the seawater. Right? What's the issue here? Missing import coal? Ooh, so yeah, that's a problem. You've got dirt. Truck can't deliver to destination. What? I did make sure that this area was specifically... Hmm. No valid destination? But it's... But it's dump... You're dumping here. Is it maybe because... Oh, I see. It's because it was... Gr yeah, okay. So the, the the area was actually... I didn't realize that the area also, like, worked in three dimensions. I can't... I don't know how to... Yeah, it takes account of the fact that the... No, that's, that's really... That's really frustrating, actually. I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, because I can't... I can't adjust that. So that may or may not work. That may or may not work in the future. Okay. Fine. Truck can't reach destination. Yeah, there's a lot of trucks that are not going to be able to reach their destination. You cannot reach through to here. That's fine. That needs to be off and off. Uh, right. That's fine. And prioritize incoming products to ports marked X. And I am going to quick build this, because apparently I've got loads of Unity again, which is wonderful. Okay, and then, inputs. Let's input to here. It looks, it looks like it should go there. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, off, 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 off. It should all be automated. This whole process should be entirely automated. Right, as long as we get coal, as long as we get coal, we are just fine. We might not have enough coal. Dirt, no valid destination to dump. That really worries me, you know? That really, really, really worries me. Is it just because we've got too much dumping stuff that's, that's happening over here? I mean, I can always, like, find more... I can always find more space dump stuff like I mean of all of the things to do finding dumping areas is not difficult it's actually very very okay let's get like two more trucks here just to be on the safe side right how are we doing we're not doing okay with slag we're doing doing bad with slag root assign over to here yep there we go that seems to have fixed the issue that's good. Okay, I think we're ready to turn on the nuclear reactor now. Uh, that needs to get turned off, turned off, turned off, turned off. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. Let's see if this actually works. Okay, one time speed. Truck import, truck export off. 96 water. Are we going to be able to move water fast enough? Are we going to be able to move steam fast enough? Are we going to be able to move spent fuel fast enough? Spent fuel I'm not worried about. Let's go into like two times speed so I can see perhaps a little bit better. Missing input. Uh, what's this little exclamation mark mean? Is it radioactive steam? Reactor heat is at 150%. Uh, but that's okay, right? Like that's fine. Because we're still getting enough water in here. I think. Hold on. Is this to the... Have I done a... I've done a goof here. I've done a goof. Uh, this is a real problem. 
Uh, let's turn down the reactor. Turn down the reactor. I think... I don't think it... Does it output steam that way? I think we might need to do something like this. Because I think this is like the heat exchanger, right? I think this is the... Does this output water as well? What does this output? I don't know what that outputs there. I'm just sort of thinking like... This looks like a this looks like a turbine sort of heat exchange area, I guess. Let's crank it back up to one time speed. See if that makes any difference. There we go. Okay. That's looking much, much better. That's looking much, 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 much better. The reactor temperature is totally where I would expect to see it at. Okay, so it doesn't look like you can use this little valve for, for anything. Oh, it's emergency cooling. That's what it is. It's emergency cooling. And then steam high as well. Does that give... Emergency cooling is not mandatory, but is advised. Okay, alright. So this is the emergency cooling stuff. And then the emergency cooling for steam, I guess. We can also... We can build like a little... Build a little tank over here, I guess. Sure. I mean, I, I, we definitely need this setup, right? So then we just store the the steam, the high pressure steam in here for a little for a little bit. Uh, can we store high pressure steam in here? I don't think we can. Don't really want to do that. Uh, we vent it. That's what we do. Cancel the deconstruction of that. Finish the deconstruction of that. And, yeah, we vent this. Okay, that, that's what we need to do then. That's what we need to do. Cool. Okay. That, 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 that is... That was, that was very close to being another disaster. But we should be fine, by the way, for power. I mean, we are grand for power. We don't need it yet, but it's coming, which is great. We do still need to do something with this water. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this water. We should probably recirculate it right into the system. Yeah, I imagine that that's like, the most intelligent thing to do. Right. Let's yoink it here. Let's get the pipes. Which, thankfully, we already have the infrastructure for. go. That's looking good. And we're going to ditch. Oh, do I want to ditch? I don't really want to ditch anything. It would be really, really nice if, um, if the devs added a feature where you can just sort of splice... Where you can splice the pipe balancer into, into an existing pipe. I would really, really, really like that. Because now I'm absolutely paranoid that we're going to have, like, an issue. So I'm going to plan it out beforehand, and then we're going to trash the, the other setup. Right, so we want to prioritize inputs from ports marked O. Let me delete this. And then we're fine. Like, even if there is an issue, we should we should still, like, allow the water to, to go through. Now, the only thing that I'm worried about is when I crank it up to, like, level 2... Are we gonna have enough? Are we gonna have enough steam throughput? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm really, really, really not sure. But this is good though. This is good. The emergency cooling situation is fine. This is this is great. I am I am happy with this. We have we've actually done a not terrible job. We've done a not terrible job at all. Uh, we need 72 level two construction components, which is very, very, very immensely doable. And we're just sort of on the lookout for any other problems that might potentially occur. Uh, the superhighway is, is really, really important because limestone is... It's not in short supply, but I mean, I'm not... I didn't really plan these pipes with the expectation that I would ever use up the limestone in this area. I mean, this little dirt path here is... It's not doing anyone any favors. It's actually kind of inconvenient uh, that it's there, but it, it is what it is. We can always, we can always refactor 
always refactor that later. Fertility is at 82% and 95% here, which is great. 90% over there and 100% here. Beautiful. Which means that for the most part, our fertilizer plan is going off without a hitch. That is good. That is really, 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 really good. Uh, we should still do something with our fuel gas here. I mean, it just seems like such a waste to be burning it all. But again, I just don't need the diesel. I mean, we've got 5,000 units of diesel. We started the episode on 3,900, which means that we've got even more diesel than even I thought that we could store. I mean, I, I frankly, I have no idea how we're storing that much. We must be just absolutely rammed. I mean, all of these must be... Yeah, they're all full. They're all full with diesel. Medium oil, heavy oil, we got... It's fine. And we're just not using... We're not using enough of the stuff, which is actually kind of a problem. Uh, it's kind of a problem. Kind of a big problem, in fact. I think we're going to flare some of it off. Thankfully, I've left a little bit of space here. So I can... Yoink, uh, yoink this in here. Yoink that in there. Let's quick remove you. Uh, I'm low on the old, the low on the old unity again, but that's fine. That's good. And then this goes there like so. Okay. So if we're able to quick build all of this, which we're not, that's fine. Uh, what we can do is we can basically just prioritize outputs to... I should quick build this and then we can... Then we can just sort of set it and forget about it. Yeah, we want to prioritize outgoing products from ports marked O, which is perfect. And we're grand. Can't quick build that yet, but that's okay. Right, truck cannot reach destination. How did you get trapped in there, bud? How did you get trapped in there? And no wonder you can't reach your destination. Truck import off. We'll turn truck import off and then we'll just recover you. I have absolutely no idea how a truck was able to get stuck in here. We haven't updated this. We haven't changed this area around for ages. Excavator has no reachable terrain areas. This mine control tower has done an absolutely tremendous job. Although now I'm realizing that it should definitely be able to access this terrain over here. So, clearly something's gone a little wrong. We might just need to... Might just need to extend this out a little bit and then... Extend this down. Yeah, does that make it reachable again? I think it does. Brilliant. On you go on your little, your little trundle. Trundle to the, to the mining area. That's fine. No mineable areas for this excavator either. I mean, really? That's kind of strange. How is there a... Oh, yeah. We'll mine that out as well. How about that? There you go. That's something to do. This is... This is cool. This is cool. I like this. This is this is good. It's all going well. I'm I, I was a little deep here apparently by the looks of things. Uh, I've perhaps gone a little too deep into the mountain, but it's it's fine. It'll be worth it. Okay, we're still having unity issues. It can't be power related because we haven't had a power cut in like ten minutes. It's not water related. Household goods obviously need to be dealt with. Household electronics also need to be dealt with. At least the household goods, we sort of have production here, and it's sort of just trundling away in the background. That's all That's all fine. Um, what's the issue? What's the issue up here? Is it copper? Is it really copper? Is it slag? Why is it slag? Keep empty. We got a truck assigned. Where's the truck? There we go. Okay. Apparently, I didn't have it on keep empty. That's... Pretty much entirely my bad, now that I think about it for more than a millisecond. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. Copper, we're gonna be, we're gonna be fine for. We're gonna be fine for copper. We're gonna be, gonna be A-OK. -okay. Do I have a truck assigned here? I do. Got one truck assigned. 
Nice. And we're managing to dump... What's, what have you got? Coal. That's fine. I don't mind seeing a coal truck just waiting around the, the depot. That is that is fine. It's just when we see a dirt truck, you know, a truck full of dirt waiting around the, the, the depot. That's when there's a problem, you know? So that's the issue. Fertilizer. We're full of fertilizer over here. That's great. We're full of fertilizer. That means that our... Yep, fertility should be in a pretty decent place. It really is. Yeah, that's perfect. Doesn't really get any better than that, does it? No siree, it does not. That is good. Uh, we can keep the chlorine full. No reason not to, I suppose. Uh, we're still getting... I, mean, I, I wish I could do something with this fuel gas. I mean, is there anything else that I can do with the fuel gas? Fuel gas... Consumption. Hydrogen reformer. That gives us carbon dioxide. I don't really want carbon dioxide. How do I... How do I use carbon dioxide? Consumption. Yeah, chemical plant. But that gives us more fuel gas. I don't want more fuel gas. I want to get rid of fuel gas. I think the answer really is just boilers, to be honest. And then if we want to be, you know, truly environmentally friendly we take the carbon dioxide produced by the gas boiler reformulate it back into fuel gas and then you know do that which i don't i don't love but it's okay are we okay for crude yeah i mean we're fine for crude aren't we we're fine for crude we're fine for quartz we've got quartz coming out the wazoo not worried about that at all i, I might as well get these things turned on I'm realizing now, we use 12, 12 times 6. What's 12 times 6? 72. We use 72, we make, we use 72 copper per minute. We actually only make like 40. We actually make like 40 copper per minute. So, that's a bit of a faff. Also, is this, do we even have a belt? We don't even have a belt here. What am I doing? I've linked up like half of the... Collision. Oh, that was what it was. I remember. I, I remember. Yeah, that was a... That was an issue. Okay, this mine control tower. Let's go and sign an area over here. Try again. There we go. Try, try doing that. Problem is, though, yeah, now it's inaccessible because I built this, I built this flipping stupid exhaust pipe thinking, oh, there's never going to be an excavator that ever needs to get over here. Oh, how wrong I was. What a, what a, what a daft, daft, daft idiot I was. Now we don't have the unity to get rid of it. Wow, everything comes full circle, eh? Everything comes full circle. Build that over there. Priority build it. Yep. Array, elevator, excavator has no reachable terrain designations. Yeah, what happened over here, though? There's clearly something, clearly something mysterious happening. Do I need to re, I need to redo this, maybe? Does that maybe fix things? Uh, I'll re-edit the area. We can just get sort of back on, back on doing that. Has that made a difference? Uh, no. Weird. Uh, should all be accessible. I tell you what. Why don't I look at the navigation overlay? Uh, so there's a little weird ramp thing here. Take it back by one. Cool. That'll definitely fix it then. Okay, a weird one, but uh, but a, a relatively easy fix in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I'm going to start, by the way, I'm going to start I'm worried at that steam level. We just need to keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Uh, I'm going to start the process of unpausing this so we can start constructing our second... I guess second reactor? It's not a second reactor, because we've only got one nuclear reactor. Our second power level of the same nuclear reactor, I guess. That's fine. How are we doing for water? We're doing good for water here. 
That's fine for water. That's fine for water. That's not fine for water. But that's just the... Oh, this is what we're prioritizing. We're prioritizing water deliveries from the cooling tower, which is, of course, exactly how we want it to be. So this is the first priority to draw from. Then it's from this one, and then it's from this one, if neither of these two work, right? Prioritize incoming products from this one. Prioritize incoming products from this one. Yeah, cool. That works perfectly. And to be fair, we've not had a meltdown yet, which is better than last time. And this entire area is unreachable. How on earth is that the case? Cancel construction of that. That should make everything reachable, right? We can always rebuild this if we need to. Yeah, it's fine. Just, just build what you need to build, video game, and then we'll sort the we'll sort everything else later. Okay, goodness gracious me. I'm glad. I'm glad that it's all working, but I'm nervous. I feel like we should have another emergency sort of area. Uh, how's the excavator doing? Excavator's doing fine. We'll need to get another mine control tower to come and mine this area, but we'll, we'll worry about that in just a sec. Let's get the... Let's get this dealt with. Keep it tight. And right in there. Beautiful. Nice. This is looking spectacular. Plus, we're now building all of this, uh, this really important extra infrastructure, which we absolutely categorically don't need because we haven't had a power issue this has not gone red in fact we haven't even touched max capacity we've come close though last 30 years yeah look at that since turning on the nuclear since turning on the nuclear power we have not even had any issues what's this extra boost from is it from the copper it must be from the copper setup like constantly working right which to be fair is is kind of valid because we need we need more electronics we're kind of desperate for electronics if i'm honest it's, uh, it's a bit of a problem. It's a bit of a problem. In fact, we should probably redesignate. We should probably just redesignate this this thing to to come over here and make this happen right now. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Where are you going? To the pipes. fine. I'll help. Man, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried, actually. If we run out of unity again, uh, we will be in a difficult situation. It's not not great. Also, I love that you can just build over buildings. Like, that is such a nice, that is such a nice change. Usually, you just, you just can't build over buildings in, in games like this. So it's really, really good. Anyway, I'm really, really happy with this setup. We're getting a, a good amount of brine out of here. That's great. The only thing that I think that we could do better, at the moment anyway, is uh, is, is using the fuel gas. I kind of hate the fact that we're just sort of polluting, yeah, polluting the air for absolutely no reason. I mean, I know that it is sludge that we're burning off or whatever, but I mean, it just kind of sucks to, to think about. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's looking good though. It's looking good. The the town is the town is looking better than it than it's been in a while. The unity is coming coming through. I mean, we could probably pause probably pause the quartz mine, right? I mean, we also probably don't need quite as many shifts on the oil rig, not because we you know need the workers or whatever, just because it's costing us quite a lot of unity to maintain uh, all of the all of the operations a little further afield. This is good. This is good. Yeah, it's excellent, actually. Yeah, this is uh, spectacular. Really, really, really happy with this. Where's the... Where's the excavator? Oh, here it comes. It's trundling. It's it's a trundling. 
I'm going to three times speed. Not like that's going to make uh, too much of a difference. I just need... I need a very, very specific area cleaned out. I think it's... I think it's literally like that tile. Yeah, I think it's that tile. If we're able to get... If we're able to get that cleaned up, then... That would be great. Are we fine? We're fine for crushed ore at the moment. That's... Yeah, that's okay. Fine for pretty much everything. Yep, that's good. That's coming through in a nice, nice way. I would aim for copper over here. We should probably get some more, get some more copper trucks over yonder, and we should probably retire the other copper mine as well. That is almost certainly worth a, worth a crack. Uh, unable to join ramp. That's okay. We can do it over there, and then we will immediately change the position yet again of this mine control tower. This mine control tower, if I could give this mine control tower an award, I would. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's... That's something. It's done a, it's done a power of work. Yeah. It's done a load of work. Right, sorry to force the excavator to drive all the way back around again, but, I mean, a necessary sacrifice. No designations to be mined. Uh, that's just patently... It's patently true, actually. The area needs to be edited. I forgot about that. There we go. Okay. That should be plenty. Truck can't reach destination. Probably something to do with the nuclear area. That's fine. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess we can quick deliver that. Fine. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting to get this second area up and running, but, I mean, we probably won't quite get it up and running, but we're not far off. We're not far off at all. Unity is the real problem, and um, consistency of, you know, delivery of products and whatnot is, is imperative. More copper... More copper is, is a requirement. I'm afraid we need a lot more copper from this mine. But the good thing is we're getting there. We're cutting into the mountain. We're going to get pure and pure copper as we go. Uh, coal is not a great place. We are rapidly approaching the end of our of our coal stockpile. I say rapidly. That's a little bit of a little bit of uh, dramatization for entertainment purposes. I think. I don't think we're rapidly getting close, but we are getting closer for sure. Uh, but anyway, all right, next episode, we're going to get the third nuclear reactor turbine set up, up and running, and maybe even a second nuclear reactor. Goodness knows, we've built enough sort of, you know, support infrastructure to make it work. I think we're close. This is looking really, really good. Our power is now in a really, really great place. We've upped our spent fuel to 55 over the uh, over the eight that we started with after the whole meltdown incident. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Anyway, uh, ladies and gents, wrapping this episode up right about now. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, is Penobo the Potato. Uh, please do indeed. Head on over to the Patreon if you want to help make videos like this possible. Thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.